In this video, I will conclude the solving equations topic talking about P1 and R1. In P1, we'll solve questions like this. I think of a number, I multiply this number by 4, and then add 3. The answer I get is 23, and the question we are trying to work out is what was my original number. We can denote this original number with x to help us form an equation. We can form an equation as such. We start with x. When we multiply this x by 4, we'll get 4x, and then we add 3, and the answer will equal to 23. So we can write an equation as 4x plus 3 equals 23. To solve this, we can use our bar modeling. Let's do that. We have four lots of x. We add 3 to this. And the answer equals to 23. We are now trying to find the value of x. To solve for x, we can do it as we did before. We know that this part is 3. Therefore, this part is also 3. And therefore, 23 can be rewritten as 20. And then we have that 4 lots of x going to 20. Therefore, 1x will be 20 divided by 4, which is 5. So we can say that x equals 5. We can also give a full answer by saying that the original number was 5. Moving on to our rom. Here, we'll have to explain the mistake in the following working out. Someone did 3y equals 12. They drew a bar model and then they solved it as y equals 9. The first thing we can do when we are solving problems in R1 is instead of focusing on finding the mistake, we can just solve the problem ourselves. So let's solve 3y equals 12. If we draw the bar model for this, we'll do it as such. And then we can immediately see that because 3 lots of y's go into 12, 1 y will be 12 divided into 3 equal parts, which means y equals to 4. So now, if we look at the incorrect solution, we can see that the mistake was where they drew the bar model incorrectly. Instead of drawing it as 3 lots of y, they drew it as 3 and y. But if we would use this bar model, the answer would be 9. The mistake that they made is they drew the bar model incorrectly. The correct answer is, as we have shown on the right hand side, y equals to 4. Writing down the misconception is where the key part of the question is. You not just have to be able to spot the mistake, but you have to be able to explain where that mistake came from. So if you look at the incorrect solution bar model, the mistake was that they thought 3 and the y next to each other means addition instead of multiplication. So we can say the misconception was that they thought 3y means 3 plus y instead of 3 multiplied by y. You might find the following keywords helpful when you're solving problems in R1. You will have to use the four operations, add, subtract, multiply and divide. You can also use other words when you're describing the mistakes or when you're describing the correct solution. You can say next to, lots of, over and shared when you're talking about multiplication and division. It's also important that you point out if something has to be equal parts and often the mistake is in the bar model.